Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Today we shall discuss the uh, topic on uh, inference uh, in relation to our subject on uh, logic. What is inference? Inference um, is also known as argument or reasoning is a mental operation some mind wherein the mind moves from two or more statements or propositions called premises or premises rather to a conclusion or truth which is implied by the former inference with the former inference is classified as either mediate or immediate mediate my wrong uh, my wrong uh, tagapagpagitna immediate walang tagapagpagitna it is mediate when the mind arrives at a conclusion drawn from true propositions, so syllogism, you know, my major premise, my minor premise, and then conclusion through a medium. Mediate inference is inference in the proper sense. Itong logical inference, elegant, syllogism. Because the person arrives not only at a proposition, but also at a new truth. Mamaya, we will be... Uh, able to see what we mean no? that by uh, a mediate uh, mediate uh, inference we will arrive at new truth or new knowledge no? in other words there is uh, an advancement in the knowledge when one argues using the mediate approach or process for example, ito na, all snakes are reptiles. Then, all reptiles are cold-blooded. Nandun sila nakatira sa mga river, sa ocean, sa mga, mga places na mayroong tubig. We are cold-blooded. And then, therefore, all snakes are cold-blooded. Tama ba? Yes, of course. Cold blooded, sila. How about we human beings? Are we cold blooded or hot blooded or warm blooded? We are warm blooded. Kaya hindi tayo nakatira sa tubig. No, <laughs> matay tayo doon sa cold. Uh, we are living here on uh, land. So, uh, there are two premises here. All snakes are reptiles. Major premise, minor premise. All reptiles are cold blooded. Therefore, this is the new knowledge. The, there is this, uh, this uh, mediate inference or reasoning that all snakes are cold blooded. Yeah. Next, in the example above, the first two propositions are premises, and the last one is the conclusion. The conclusion, therefore, all snakes are cold blooded is not only a new proposition. But a new truth, so itong conclusion natin, this, this is the new truth, as well as derived from the premises through a medium which is in this case reptiles. Yeah. So, so this is what we call the midget reasoning or midget uh, kind of inference. The other kind of inference is called immediate inference because the reasoning moves directly from one proposition to a new one. So, at least dalawang proposition dito. <laughs> Hindi pwedeng isa. No? Uh, which is a mere reformulation. Binago lang. Parang nilagyan nila ng new covering or uh, new box. <laughs> Pero the same pa rin ang content of the same truth stated in the original proposition. This kind of inference is considered improper or informal because the person does not arrive at knowledge other than the one already possessed. Parang peikot-ikot ka dito. No? Yan. So, next is, for example, itong midget or immediate uh, inference or improper inference. Jesus is the son of of Mary. Therefore, Mary is the mother of Jesus. Yan. So, uh, nag-ikot-ikot ka lang dyan. Okay. Uh, 
And then, number two, Judas committed a bigger sin than Peter. So, you can just surmise, or you can just infer, or you can just reason that therefore Peter committed a smaller sin than Judas. Sabi mo, obvious, no? Obvious ba? <laughs> Yan. Okay. Pero that is a form of uh, immediate inference. So, ginagamit rin natin ito sa ating pangaraw-araw na uh, pamumuhay. Yan. Just to make uh, things clear. Number three, Mary is blessed among all women. Therefore, all women are less blessed than Mary. Including lahat ng nanay, saka lahat ng lula, lahat ng mga kababayan, Miss Universe pa yan dyan, Miss World, or ano-ano pa yan dyan. Uh, Mas blessed si Virgin Mary because she is blessed among all women. In fact, she said, all generations, hindi lang mga babae, I will call me blessed. Ayan. Uh, Luke chapter 1 verse 43. Immediate inference may be uh, further subdivided into two types. Itong immediate inference. Mm -hmm. Itong formal uh, or proper inference. Uh, anong two types na ito? The oppositional, oppositional inference. Nag-oppose sila. Consists in the movement of the mind from one proposition to another, both of which have the same subject terms. No? Parang grammar ito, mayroong subject at saka predicate. Yung tawag dito sa logic kasi subject term and predicate term. Um, it involves the truth or falsity of the opposite propositions. Anong proposition? Once again, sabihin natin, proposition is a declarative statement. Yan. In the interrogative na tanong, in the interjection, uh, nagulat ka lang, at uh, in the rin, uh, command or request. Then, the equivalence inference aside from the oppositional inference also known as eduction consists in the reformulation of the original proposition into a new one which is the exact equivalent of the former parang from the non-standard form to the standard form eduction we will not discuss this uh, eduction at this time this will be included in uh, the next uh, meeting after your midterm exam. So, just relax. Inference uh, or reasoning. Kasi sa logic, we need to have uh, correct reasoning. So, inference is, uh, in its broad meaning, any process by which the mind proceeds from one or more propositions seem to be implied in the former. So, not one sentence or not one proposition only, but uh, one or more propositions. That's the broad meaning. Malawak na kaulugan. Now we go to the strict meaning. The operation by which the mind gets new knowledge by drawing out the implications of what it already knows. The mind knows something because before it could reason out. Itong strict meaning, this is the, the meaning in uh, logic. From one premise to the next premise, and then the conclusion which, which gives new truth. So, my number three tayo. In a series of propositions, so arranged that the consequent flows from the antecedents. Ano itong consequent? Consequent result pa. Antecedents yung pinag-usapan. Anti means before. The three essential constituents of inference must all be all present. Mayroong antecedent, no? consequent, and the sequence. So, so, kung mayroong pinagmulan, mayroong resulta. Kung may itinanim, may aanihin. No? Antecedent. The antecedent is the part of the inference from which the conclusion is drawn or deduced. 
The antecedent may also be referred to as the premises. Yeah. It is the starting point of reasoning. Consequent. The consequent is the part of the inference or the reasoning process which signifies the conclusion. So you know, in the end, conclusion, the consequent uh, or the consequence or the new knowledge derived from the antecedents. The consequence may also be referred to as the conclusion. So here in logic, marami kasi mga, mga synonyms. You know? Synonyms help us expand our knowledge you know? and uh, help us understand the terms uh, clearly. Sequence. The sequence is the necessary connection between the antecedents and the consequent. So in sequence, there is antecedent, premises, then the consequent, conclusion, pero ito talaga ang sequence, no? inference, sequence of reasoning or inference. Argument. Argument is uh, any group of propositions which one is claimed to follow from the others, which are regarded as providing support or grounds for the truth uh, of that one. So argument ito, uh, it's another term for reasoning or uh, or uh, inference. Yeah. Yung main focus talaga ng logic is argument, correct argument. Yung terms, yung propositions, para mga elementary at high school. <laughs> Pero yung argument, ito ng college, so ito yung end product no? ng study of logic. The group of propositions become or becomes an argument if it follows a logical structure. It must have a conclusion and a premise or premises. Okay, so far, you understand class? Do you follow? For an inference to be valid, we will be incorrect, in the invalid, which is incorrect, there must be a logical sequence. Exemplary gratia, no. or that is, not exemplary gratia, but that is a necessary connection must exist. Analyze the examples that follow. The trees are green. Another premise, light is white. Totoo naman na trees, mga leaves ng trees, green yan eh. Means light, light is white. Yan, totoo na naman yan. Uh, true, true. Uh -huh. Pero yung conclusion, therefore, I am alasalgan. <laughs> Sobrang isang kilimetro. Ang layo, no? no? Sabihin man, no, may ito. Ano, you know, klaseng reasoning ito. Hindi naman ito reasoning. Eh. Uh, although na may white at saka green na color ang lasal, but uh, malayo sa premise ang conclusion. No? Yan. Uh, mapag na Mapag uh, dudahan ka pa dyan, uh, may, pani, may sira ng utak eh. <laughs> this inference is invalid because there is no sequence. There is no reason how the consequence, I am alasalian, can be inferred from the antecedent. It did not follow. Non sequitur. No? Malayo sa, sa pinag-usapan. So we have another premise. Premise, it is daytime. Conclusion, therefore the sun is shining brightly. Valid ba ito or invalid? Correct ba ito or incorrect? So daytime, sabihin mo, oh, uh, anong oras mo yun? 8 o'clock ng umaga. Therefore, the sun is shining. Totoo ba yan? Na kung 8 o'clock ng umaga o 9 o'clock ng umaga, the sun is shining. Totoo ba yan? Ngayon, the sun is shining. Pero totoo ba yan all the time? Hindi naman. Kung minsan umuulan, minsan bagyo pa nga eh. So, so madilim rin. So, it does not follow. Ayan. Uh -huh. Tingnan natin. In the given example, the consequent does not flow from the antecedent. Kung anong pinag-usapan. This inference is invalid because even though it is daytime, it does not follow that the sun is always shining brightly. For instance, 
during a cloudy day. Yeah. So, another example. Yung tayo. Another example. Okay. Premise. Yung college professor namin, yung uh, premise dito, dalawang S. Eh. But that is a variant. Dalawang S yung ginagamit. Some men are athletes. So, so yan, yung iba mga lalaki talagang mandalaro. No? Vice ganda is a man. <laughs> Sabihin mo yun. Eh, Duda na ako sir kung man yan talaga. Man in a generic term. Ibig sabihin na tao yan. So, o lalaki yan. So, tapos, yung conclusion na naman. <laughs> Duda ka na naman. <laughs> okay. So, vice ganda is an athlete. Yan. Hmm. Pwede rin. No? Some men are athletes. Athletes. Vice ganda is a man. So, vice ganda is an athlete. But, it may happen na some men lang naman yan. Halimbawa, vice ganda, um, it so happens na hindi naman siya volleyball player or basketball player. Therefore, he, he is not an athlete. Yan. Okay? Yan. Again, no, sinasabi dito, there is no sequence in this inference. Hence, it is still invalid. Being a man does not necessarily mean being an athlete. Yan. So, hindi yan equivalent. Eh. Man is um, equivalent to being an athlete. Mayroon naman mga tao na ayaw talaga tumakbo. Kahit nga lumakad, ayaw eh. <laughs> yan. So, athlete pa kaya. Yan. In each of the given examples, there is no sequence. Hence, all of them are invalid. Now, the study... Now, study the examples that follow and take note of the sequence that makes its inference valid. Okay. All students are learners. Yeah. Lahat naman yung siyente talaga nag-aaral naman yun. Eh, no? Being students. Lasalians are students. O oh, kayo ba? Students sa'yo ng lasal. Okay. Now, the conclusion is Therefore, or thus, Lasallians are learners. Okay. Valid or invalid? Of course, valid dyan eh. All students are learners. Kaya nag-aaral yun. Kung hindi ka na learner dyan, bagsak ka na dyan. <laughs> or hindi ka na makapasa sa subject mo or sa course mo. Yan. So thus, Lasallians are learners. Valid. Okay, ito naman ang isang valid nito. Tuberculosis is a disease. Dito namatay si Manuel L. Quezon. This is what we call consumption. Inubos yung bagga mo eh. Noong unang panahon, panahon ni Quezon, deadly ito. Parang COVID, eh. Pero ngayon, hindi na deadly ito. In six months time, tapos yung tuberculosis mo. Ano? Refampisin ng katapat niya, no? Her father has tuberculosis. Thus, her father has a disease. Valid or invalid? Valid. Yeah. Next example. No businessman is illiterate. Lucio is a businessman. Therefore, Lucio is not illiterate. It follows. Yung sequence talaga is uh, valid. No? Pero itong... Questionable na ito eh. No businessman is illiterate. Mayroon namang businessman na hindi marunong sumulat eh. Diba? Yeah. So, uh, but the sequence, sequence here is valid. Identifying, bakit hindi ma-remove itong valid? Identifying the premise and the conclusion. Iba ang premise, iba rin yung conclusion. An entire argument may be presented as single sentence, but often several sentences are used to present it. Its conclusion may either precede or follow the premises, or it may come between two of them. The following are examples of arguments presented as a simple sentence. Take note of the position of the underlined conclusions. So, 
He was absent because he was very ill. Itong reason na ito. Absence yeah, because may sakit. Since the weather is unfavorable, the picnic will be postponed. Yeah, baka ma tsunami ka pa dyan. Baka mabagiwan ka pa dyan. So one sentence lang, but uh, there is the argument. Because the word because na yun. Since na yun. So mga, mga indicators yan that there is an argument being presented. In view of the fact that her that her wallet was stolen, I conclude that he cannot promise to pay on time. So, na, na, nakaw yung kanyang wallet. So, wala na siyang pera. And he could not pay anymore. The following are examples of arguments presented in multiple sentences. Kanina kasi one sentence argument na This time, multiple sentences. Take note of the position of the underlying conclusions. Hindi na ako nag-underline dito eh. Uh, because everything is in uh, na ito, italics. Baka color yellow pa. Whatever is good is from God. But life is good. Thus, or therefore, life is from God. Yeah. O, oh, tatanungin mo. O, oh, saan kaya galing yung evil o oh, yung demonyo o si satanas? Di ba ginawa ng Panginoon yan? Bakit uh, mayroon dito? O, oh. Hindi naman gawa ng Diyos si Satanas eh. Ginawa ng Diyos ang good angel. Paano naging Satanas? Because that good angel, Lucifer, abused his freedom. Yan. So parang COVID, you know? Oh, if God is good, bakit may COVID? Bakit namamatay yung tao sa COVID? Of course, God is good. Sino may gawa ng COVID? Diyos ba? Hindi naman. Tao naman yan eh from uh, Wuhan, China. So yun, uh, God, uh, who is good, can give only what is good. Yung mga evil na yan, either gawa ng tao or gawa ng demonyo na uh, yung demonyo naman, hindi yan ginawa ng just na demonyo at the very beginning, they made themselves demons because of the abuse of freedom. Several sophomores approached me to report errors in the checking of their papers. I may infer that some students are honest. So, honest yung mga student, no? They even requested that points be deducted from their scores. Mayroon ako mga na-encounter na student na ganyan. So, naawa na rin ako. So, na-deduct yung kanya, na-deductan yung kanilang uh, scores sa uh, objective uh, part pero sa essay nilagyan ko naman ng additional points so uh, as a reward for their honesty kasi, kasi sa buhay natin talaga importante yung honesty no? towards your wife, towards your husband towards your children towards your fellow men, neighbors teachers, students etc Drigo is not a president Example ito ng potisya ko yun. This is so because no infant is president. No? Infant pala yun si Drigo. Therefore, uh -huh, yun, Drigo is an infant. So parang reasoning niya is uh, no infant shall become president. Drigo is an infant. Therefore, Drigo is not a president. Yan. Kasi kailangan sa constitution natin eh. 40 years old and above ka eh. Sa senator o saka, saka congressman. 35 years old and above. At least mayroon ka ng maturity. Paninin sa buhay. Yan. Kung teenager pa yan, baka yung taste niya, ito na pang teenager din eh. <laughs> o pang infant din. Gatas palagi ang kailangan. Hindi pwede. Special terms functioning as premise indicators or conclusions. So, mayroong indicator. Para bang sign yun. Uh, red sa stoplight. Ibig sabihin stop ka na. Magpatakbo ka, naka-red color dyan. Backpain ka ng police dyan. And uh, indicators. We're running out of time na. Huh? Uh, uh, so, uh, 
open one to identify and distinguish the premises and the conclusions of an argument. Okay. So let's make this a little bit faster. Examples of conclusion indicators. No conclusion, close no, yeah. And then open yun. Therefore, hence, thus, so accordingly. Yeah, you just read this. No, I conclude that. Okay, next, we have nine uh, minutes and twenty-nine uh, seconds. Examples of premise indicators. No, kanina conclusion indicators. Therefore, thus, etc. Premise naman. Since, because, for, as, as indicated, the reason is that. So, premise indicators. Ito. Now, let's go to the uh, next topic on deductive and inductive logic. Dalawang klase yun. Ito. Deductive and inductive logic. Yung deductive is a system of reasoning whereby a person argues from universal or general truth to the particular or from the more to the less universal particular or specific by way of a middle term we might argue for example that it's an example all men are rational beings all men ito universal ito yun lahat ng men including women ito no? But Filipinos are men. Therefore, Filipinos are rational beings. We have reasoning power. Sabihin mo, sir, yung bata, <laughs> below seven years old, wala pang reasoning power. <laughs> Pero, uh, tinatawag natin, uh, a potential yan eh. Nandyan yan sa kanya. Pag laki-laki niya, no? pag eight years old niya, tutubo na yung, o seven years old, tutubo na yung reasoning power niya. He has the, uh, the capacity to know what is right and what is wrong. Yeah. So, ito na. we may go further and argue that since Jose Rizal is a Filipino, he is also a rational being, thereby arriving to a still less universal, in this case, individual by way of the middle term Filipino. Jose Rizal, ito eh? a singular term na ito eh? from a universal term na men to Jose Rizal, which is singular. Yeah. So, yan ang deductive logic kanina. Now, we go to inductive logic. Anong difference yan? Of course, spelling, magkaiba. Pero ang meaning, magkaiba rin. No? Inductive logic is the direct opposite of deductive logic. Here, reasoning starts from sufficiently enumerated individual or specific cases or observations and moves to the universal or general truth. So opposite ito ng deductive, which is from general or universal to specific or particular. Ito namang inductive, from specific, isa-isa, isa-isa, at hanggang sa general or conclusion. Scientific method ito. No? No? May hypothesis, mayroon experimentation, ulit na experimentation, ulit naman, tapos generalization. Yan. For example, one will, will argue that Ilongos are courageous. So are the Negrenses, Sibuanos, Tagalogs, Warais. All Filipinos are courageous. Uh -huh. So uh, from Ilongo, tapos include na Sibuano, Tagalog, mga courageous sila. No? Therefore, sabi mo, ang conclusion ko, that the mga Filipinos are courageous. No? Not necessarily uh, true. <laughs> <laughs> sabihin mo na lahat ng uh, limbawa lahat ng lalaki ay maraming nobya no ito sabihin mo nobyo mo noon na number 1 mayroong ibang nobya nobyo mo number 2 o may nobya na naman number 3 may nobya na naman therefore generalization mo lahat ng lalaki traitor <laughs> parang uh, unfair naman yan no? ang tatanungin sa iyo kagad eh. Bakit? Kilala mo ba lahat ng lalaki? Tatlo lang lalaki na kilala mo eh. Naging nobyo mo eh. Yan. So, wrong conclusion. Kaya, ito personal opinion dito mga students. Yung conclusion ng science is not, is not permanent. Kasi based on inductive reasoning yan. Pero yung conclusion ng theology at saka philosophy, yan. Permanent yan. Yan ang superiority ng theology at sa philosophy. Yan. Sa science. Nowadays, 
sabihin natin scientific tayo ngayon. Pero itong COVID hindi masolve-solve kung anong klase-klaseng vaccine na yan. Yung ibang vaccine, sabi ni iba, mali na vaccine yan, nakakamatay yan. Yung iba sabi, ito na talaga ang vaccine. So yung science is a human attempt to draw general conclusion from specific experimentations. Yan. But ito, both deductive and inductive reasoning, kailangan natin. Yan. Reasoning power pa rin yan ang ginagamit sa nyo. So deductive, uh, all x are y, b is x, therefore b is y. Yan. All men are thinking beings, Filipinos are men, therefore Filipinos are thinking beings. Yan. Wala ka talagang ligtas dyan eh. Yan. Sabihin mo, all men are mortal. Lahat ang tao na mamantay. Sabihin mo, itong lola ko, matanda na. No? Tao ito, namantay. So, lahat talaga mamantay. Yan. Kahit si Jesus Christ namantay. Kahit si Virgin Mary namatay. No? But uh, it was the will of Jesus Christ to die on the cross. Or else, hindi tayo masave sa ating mga kasalanan. Every animal is an irrational being. No? Totoo naman. Wala naman silang logical thinking power. Bigyan mo sila ng problem dyan. Hindi na yan nila masolve. Dogs are animals. Ergo, meaning to say, Latin and therefore yan. Dogs are irrational animals. Yeah. Inductive logic specific to general. Lasal has a library. Oh, inductive nito. Isa-isa ito muna. No? UP has a library. Ateneo has a library. Therefore, all of them, all schools have libraries. Kung minsan, ito hindi ito tama. Eh, no? Mayroong ibang school na walang library. <laughs> Yeah. Although kailangan niya. Yeah, no? yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. O maliit naman siya doon na library. So, uh, John is a person. Zeb is a person. Jose is a person. Therefore, lahat na ito are persons. Yan. Yan ang strength ng inductive logic, which is uh, the way of science. Yan din ang uh, weakness ng inductive logic. Sabihin mo, Walang Diyos sa mundong ito. Ah. Pumunta ako sa Lasal, walang Diyos doon ako nakita. Pumunta ako sa Gaysano, walang Diyos doon. Sa Robinson, walang Diyos. Therefore, walang Diyos sa mundo. Sabihin, sabihin ng uh, philosopher sa iyo. O, bakit napunta mo na ba lahat ng mga malls, lahat ng bahay, lahat ng mga countries? Uh, kahit sa ilalim ng lupa, kahit sa itaas ng lupa, kahit sa mga dagat, napuntahan mo na ba lahat ng mga planets sa uh, universe tapos sasabihin mo ulang Diyos? Yan. Kundi uh, uh, talo ka dyan sa argument. No? Yan. Mm -hmm. So, tapos. <laughs> tapos ang argument. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope we have learned something today. No? I would like you to get a very high, uh, very high uh, scores in your exam, and uh, please uh, stay uh, safe, keep yourself safe, healthy, and strong. No, eat well, sleep well, do exercise, and study well also, as well as pray well with your family members. Okay, clans, let's stop here. Now, uh, are there uh, questions, class? Less than one minute. Let's pray na lang. No? In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. St. John Baptist de La Salle, leave Jesus in our hearts. Forever. Amen. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Forever. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Okay. Bye. -bye. Thank you, sir. Okay, good day.